Hey everyone, we're back with another biothane tutorial and this time we are going to be doing a biothane noseband. So first what you'll need is a muzzle of your choice. This one's a Leerberg. Then some biothane. This is three quarter inch heavy duty biothane. Some scissors. A hole punch. A flathead screwdriver. And Chicago screws. And links for everything here will be down in the description below. So here you see I already have a biothane noseband on this muzzle, so I'm just unscrewing the Chicago screws to remove it. If you have the regular noseband on your muzzle, then you kind of have two options. One, you can just cut off the noseband if you know you, you're not going to want to use it again. Or the second option would be to drill through the rivets if you wanted to try to use that noseband again in the future. It does take some time to drill through the rivets, um, but just be patient and you'll get there eventually. So now that we have that nose band off, I'm going to start by getting an idea of where the new nose band is going to sit and how I want it to look. The nice thing about already having done a biothane nose band is once you do it once and get it right once, you can basically just measure that same strip of biothane again and punch the holes in the same place and then you have a new one and a new color if you wanted. Um, but here I'm just going through the process to show you guys kind of what it looks like. And so here I'm just getting an idea of where the biothane is going to sit and how it's going to look while it's on the muzzle. Because I'm using the three quarter inch strip of biothane, this is shorter than the original nose band. So it does take some length off the muzzle. So I don't want that metal piece sitting on her nose. So I'm making sure that I shorten the nose band just enough so that only the nose band will be sitting on her nose, not the metal portion. So here I'm just gonna go ahead and get one side secured so that it makes it easier to fine tune the length that we need when we go to do the other side. I'm just going to get that folded over the way that I wanted and then I'm just taking my hole punch here and I'm not punching through it. I'm just marking with that punch where the Chicago screw is going to go and where I'll need to punch the hole. So I'm doing that on both sides, the outside and the inside portion of the strap. And I'm just trying to take my time and make sure that they're going to be lined up where I need them to go. And then once I'm done marking it, I'll go ahead and take that biothane off the muzzle and punch the holes in the straps. So here my rotary punch is set to four millimeters. The Chicago screws that I'm using are four millimeters in diameter. So just make sure that your hole punch is the same diameter as whatever screws you're using. So because I'm using the heavy duty biothane here for the nose band, the Chicago screw length that I'm using is eight millimeters. So the eight millimeter length screws will fit with the heavy duty biothane. It'll go through two layers of it perfectly. If you're using standard biothane, then the six millimeter length screws will work for that. So here I'm just grabbing our first Chicago screw and I'm gonna go ahead and attach this side to the muzzle. In my opinion, I find it easier to attach one side of the noseband to the muzzle before cutting the biothane down. I just feel like this helps me to get the exact right length that I need for the noseband. Honestly, I find this to be like the hardest part of this process is just getting the Chicago screws lined up to be able to thread them and screw them on. Um, it is a little easier if you have the part that you screw on the outside, but I prefer to have the screw portion on the inside and then the blank portion on the outside because I just feel like it gives it a cleaner look. So it does take me a couple extra minutes for some of these and some fiddling around to try to get the screw threaded and, and screwed on tightly, but it's worth it to spend an extra minute or two, in, in my opinion, to make the muzzle a little nicer looking. I'm 
All right, so now we have the first side on. So now I'm just gonna get an idea of where I need to cut the biothane for the other side. So here I'm just kind of showing again, if that biothane were to be flush with the metal, then the metal part might be resting on her nose and I don't want that because that can cause rubbing. So I just shorten the biothane a little bit so that that way only the biothane portion will be resting on her nose and not the metal part. So here I'm just trying it on her just to make sure that that's the case and to make sure that the metal portion of the muzzle won't be resting on her nose. So I'm just trying it on to get a good idea of how short that biothane needs to be. So now I'm just going to hold it in place and then I'll go ahead and take my hole punch and just mark a spot again of where that hole needs to go. And now that I have that hole marked, it's much easier now to line up the other side of the biothane, mark that hole, and then I can just cut the rest of the biothane off where I need it. And again, I'm just taking my time here, making sure that everything is lined up. I don't wanna have to do this process again, so I just tend to take my time through everything and make sure it's good to go. Like they say, measure twice, cut once. So just making sure everything is where it needs to go before I make that final cut. So now I'm gonna go ahead and punch those holes where I marked them. This hole punch isn't the best, so I'm just trying to maneuver it as much as I can to be able to punch all the way through that biothane. Here I think I was just a little skeptical of exactly where that hole was going and so I was just trying to make sure that I was punching the hole in the right place. Um, I probably should have marked it a little bit better with the hole punch before I took it off in the muzzle. And again just trying to get that hole punch to punch all the way through that biothane. And now we're just gonna take our second Chicago screw and then screw this part into place. The process for this is pretty basic. All you need is a strip of biothane and two Chicago screws. The hardest part is just marking your holes to make sure that they're gonna line up correctly and getting that biothane the right length. Um, and then just trying to get those Chicago screws threaded together and lined up properly so that you can get them screwed in. It's not difficult, it can just be a little tricky to get done sometimes. So here I realized I had a little bit extra biothane left over on the edge, so I'm just trimming that off a little bit. And with that, our biothane noseband is done. You can see here that it's just a little bit shorter than the metal is, so it should keep the metal from rubbing on her nose and her nose should fit perfectly right up against that biothane. So here hopefully you can see what I'm talking about where um, her nose is only in contact with the biothane, it's not in contact with the metal on top and that's just because we made the biothane a little bit shorter than it would have been if it was flush with the metal. So now I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the process if you were to do it with a 1.5 inch biothane nose band as opposed to this three quarter inch one. The 1.5 inch was a lot 
more similar to the original noseband that was on her Learberg muzzle, but I just found that it was too long and just came up too close to her eyes. So that's why we've been using this three quarter inch thick one. Um, but for those of you who are interested in a thicker noseband and don't want to shorten the length of the muzzle at all, this would be a good option for you. I'm not gonna go through the whole process of um, measuring out and cutting the biothane and everything, but this is just to give you an idea of what the 1.5 inch looks like and the process of attaching that. So here is her old nose band. You can see that I've already cut it and punched the holes um, and then I'll just go through the process of attaching it here so you can get an idea of what it looks like. The length of this biothane is longer than the other one. We don't have to worry about the metal of the muzzle rubbing on their nose. So this one, you can definitely just measure the biothane so that it sits flush with the muzzle and you'll be totally fine. So we're gonna be screwing this into those first two little boxes of the muzzle right there. So I'm just gonna grab my Chicago screws and then just getting it adjusted on the muzzle here. For whatever reason, I do find the 1.5 inch to be a little harder to maneuver while trying to put these Chicago screws on. So you'll see me struggling with that quite a bit here. And this is definitely the hardest part for me is just aligning those Chicago screws. So just trying to figure out the right angle of being able to see them to get them threaded on. Um, and then just getting that initial thread is the hardest part. And then once it's a little bit on, then it's way easier to just go ahead and, and screw it the rest of the way in. And I was a bit of a klutz today, so you'll see me dropping the screw multiple times and really struggling to get these on. I feel like I made it harder than it needed to be. So definitely just take your time to get them lined up and get them threaded and screwed on. I'm just gonna fast forward through most of this because the process is the same for all four of these screws. Just get it lined up, get it threaded and screw it on. All right, and now that the last screw is on, that nose band is done. Here's Kona modeling this one for us. And you can see it rests a little close to her eyes, which is why we prefer the three quarter inch. I really feel like the three quarter inch just makes this muzzle the perfect length for her. I have seen people do half inch. I have seen people do two inch biothane. Really it'll just depend on the muzzle size that you're using and if you feel like you need to shorten any of the length at all. All right guys, well, hopefully you learned something. I know this video was a little chaotic. Hopefully you were able to get an idea of the process and how it goes. So hopefully you guys are encouraged to try this on your own. If you wanna follow us on Instagram, check us out at Kona the Cowardly Dog. Thanks.